click on your way and watch news around the world today. Some wisdom skills along the way. Oh, and a song to hum along with and sway. Get your perfect entertaining start to the day. At 9 a.m. every weekday morning with Mahima's, Mahima's Good, Good Morning, morning Bay. Good morning, Bay. आप सभी लोगों का से प्यार भरा गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्ते नमस्कार स्वामी नारायण जय श्री कृष्ण जय जनेन्द्रा हमारे इस्मानी भाई बंधुओं को बोलते हैं मदद मौला अली मदद बोलते हुए सारे फी जी एन बंधु लोगों को बोलेंगे नी शाम बुला हम आ गए हैं बदजान आपके प्यारे महिमा के दुलारे मैं सिर्फ अल्तू बाबा एंड ऑफ़ कोर्स फालतू रानी लेकर आपके लिए कोर्ट ड्राइव टाइम दैट्स गोइंग टू मेक इट टोटली एक्साइटिंग एंड टोटली टोस्टानी वाहू इट्स टेरिफिक थर्सडे यकीन नहीं होता बदजान तो टेरिफिक थर्सडे के असर पर आप हमारा शो एक बार सुन लो बार बार आओगे सुनने के लिए बदजान हमारा शो हर रोज मंडे तो फ्राइडे आता है आपको नौ से लेके दस बजे एंड शाम में पांच से लेके सात बजे बदजान लेकिन अभी के लिए सुनने के लिए हम लोग आपको देंगे एक धा� Update. It's time for the Bandu traffic update. Call us from wherever you are at 408-912-2479. Yeah, but that's 408. Nine traffic I sometimes I feel like I'm setting the mood for the entire day. Huh? Like as a question mark. Setting the mood. यानी कि अगर खाली है तो the whole entire day is खाली for you. Hey, my day entire day anyway is खाली. It's open for all our bandus, right? Where do I do any work for that? You don't you know that I'm on radio. इन्हें बच्चे the point I'm making here is traffic का हाल बताओ क्या बदलजन? It's totally free everywhere the freeway except for a few incidents over here of a fire on 87. Now you wonder what fire? Yeah, but there's a fire on 87 southbound north of Almaden Expressway. Now this fire could be a brush fire. I'm trying to get more information, but CFP is on the scene there. They're trying to get it under control. Seems to be like a brush fire because of dry weather right now for the past two, three days. It's going to be weather. Speaking of weather, it's going to be dry all through the whole weekend, Fadwani. And today is going to be a sunny day. Watch out for that sunny hair. Like in the highest is on 58 degrees, but jam. So, I mean, it's not going to be too chilly. It's going to be chilly nevertheless. But of course, a wonderful weather for us. I just love it when you have to just layer up and walk around in the sun, enjoying the blue skies. You know, whenever I look at the skies in, in California, Fadwani, I go, blue skies. Uh, is there a song that way? <laughs> red, red, white. See, see, what? Only no, morning, red, uh, red, blue, white, blue, blue skies, you should do this. I see skies of blue, red roses too. I see them bloom for me and you. Uh -huh. And I think of uh, whatever <laughs> to say in what the a, early morning to you. What a wonderful world. Same defense, but it's a terrific Thursday right now. Terrific Thursday. We have to say that we have to say that we have to say that. We'll definitely come to guys. The Guardian Kita comes to the end. But the Lakin, some make up a band. The way they say, we're going to jump into the news updates for you guys. Not even news headlines, but directly news headlines and updates right here. If you want to catch up the news which we're sharing with you guys on air, do is go to our Facebook and you can go watch the latest news which we're sharing with you guys on air. And do is go to our Facebook and you can go watch the video on demand or go to YouTube. We have a YouTube channel where we actually all our face shows get posted to the Hotties page. But jam, you can go to click on the the post and get more information of the story we share with you guys on air. Now let's say you want to get um, you know information as in deeper, dig deeper into the stories we share with you guys on air. You can go to newsblogmediamahima.com. They got multiple things for you guys to do in a day. Oh my goodness gracious! Oh checking the YouTube, checking our Facebook, and going and checking the blog. Oh or you can choose to only one thing. Let's go to the blog. Well, actually, actually, you know, they can just listen to the Radio D Hotties app. Oh, Alta Baba, is there a way? Somebody asked me, is there a way that they can put them to go off on the Radio D Hotties app? Of course, yes. There is an alarm to go off on the on the D Hotties app. Yeah, like you know, you can set up okay for live. So there was this kid who was asking me, is it possible to do that? Yes, everything is possible. Yeah, <laughs> but we need the funding and the know-how to do it. <laughs> know-how also is possible. <laughs> It's the other part which actually is a little bit hitting us. The funding, yes. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah. Hey, it's Walter Driven, guy. Come on, we're totally a Walter organization, and of course, what we do is we try to find time to do all these things. And yes, we will make the bells and whistles for you guys uh, slowly, uh, steadily, of course. Uh, थोड़ा हमारे साथ patiently आ जाएगा. We'll do it for sure. But if anybody out there actually wants to try and test out and say, you know, I, I don't know how, how good I am in app development, I want to try it out. Uh, please do join us and let us know how we can support us. That'll be wonderful. And uh, that was uh, the call out for you guys to come and help us with the app for sure. Like in Abhi ke liye, let's go and jump in and see what's the news. Father Ani, what is passing off as news nowadays? We um, are going to get directly into it, Pandujan. We're going to talk to you. Um, no headlines, right? We're just directly. No, directly jumping into Father Ani. I think news also very boring nowadays. Well, I'm just going to say that bundle up, Pandujan. Um, I take it from me I personally have not been bundling up and I'm feeling the effects of it. Uh, it's really important to um bundle up this week because it's going to get so bitterly cold after this week's uh, blizzard in the Midwest that uh, engine anti-freeze apparently will also solidify. What? <clears throat> yes. Yes, exactly. The blizzard pa- blasting past uh, parts of the Midwest is a curtain raiser for a cold snap that people will not forget anytime soon. A flash freeze could accompany the storm. as temperatures drop rapidly below freezing making very dangerous conditions um a flash freeze happens when rapidly falling temperatures quickly turn any wet or slushy roads to ice the national weather service said in iowa apparently warning that it likely significant tra- uh, travel problems so those of you in the midwest uh, please be very very careful um try to shelter indoors if possible mm-hmm. um also uh, let's tell you bandujan in terms of the coronavirus more than 530,000 people in the United States could die of COVID-19 by the end of this month. A new CDC projection claims that would be about one death every minute uh, of the pandemic. <clears throat> the CDC has also expressed a concern that emerging data may show that the UK variant is making its way around the world is even dangerous and deadly than the original strain. Mm. Researchers in the United States are assuming that there are far more cases of these international strains out there that are that and those that are being reported mm-hmm. uh, but there is some comforting news global vaccine confidence is increasing <clears throat> according to a survey with more than half of the people in 15 countries saying that they take a vaccine if offered and covax a vaccine sharing initiative um, has announced its plan to distribute more than 130 million doses to developing nations in the first half of the year and of course and if at all you're wondering about how the vaccines are affecting over here locally I'll let me tell you one thing i think in the positive note it's affecting us because Uh, the number of vaccines administered has increased locally. So I'm talking about California alone. <clears throat> as you guys know, uh, we talked about we always have been keeping a track on the data as to how much of what's the rate of increase right. of the new cases. And actually, the rate of increase has decreased. Now I know it seems like an oxymoron, but the fact is, um, number of increase has um, number of new cases of coronavirus on a daily basis, which you get right, has dropped to around 400 new cases in Santa Clara County. Statewide, of course, uh, it is 10,000 new cases, uh, 10,500. That's a lot of us in. Uh, sorry, 0.3 percent. So it's again a decrease in the increase of things, and uh, uh, and Santa Clara, Alameda, both are in the in the range of around uh, um, 0.4 percent. Oh. So like you know, 200 new cases or 250 new cases in Alameda and around 400 cases in uh, Santa Clara County have been coming up. But unfortunate thing is, of course, Banjan, as I said, the death the death toll is increasing. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is increasing rate of around 1.1 percent. That's around uh, in Santa Clara County alone. Uh-huh. We've had around out of the total 1,500 deaths. Uh, yes, yesterday. We got a report of 15 new deaths, and um, in uh, the whole of California, if you look at state, uh, we've had around four, close to around 500 new deaths. Again, the rate of increase of these uh, tolls are because the coronavirus is up by 1.2 percent per jump. It slowly will have to die out, but more less, lesser number of as the rate of increase drops. Hopefully, the the you know the it will plateau even with the numbers and the death toll. Um, but again, in the meanwhile, what you got to do? We got to actually you got to get yourself vaccinated if you want it, and uh, make sure that um, you know. Um, uh, you are part of the people who are getting vaccinated because the more number of people who are vaccinated will be keeping the virus contained. Uh, and uh, clo- if you want the numbers of it, I think uh, almost close to 3.7 uh, million, uh, close to 3.8 million vaccinations have been administered across the state. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going specifically across the state is what I'm talking about. Um, specifically in Santa Clara, if you want to know, around 200 billion, 200,000 doses have been administered already. That's all. Yeah. 
Oh my God! It was 175 yesterday. So the pretty. Uh, I think the. See, I think you got to give them. Uh, I know there are many people who say, "Oh, the watchdogs are going to say, 'Oh, they are doing a good job, bad, and everything.' No, it's for the first time it's ever happening. In fact, right? The initiative of actually vaccinating the entire world yeah. is happening for the very first time. And of course, it might be driven by whatever reason, whether it is driven by the pharma or whatever. Everybody's coming together to make sure they contain the virus. So we'll have to give them some kind of cut them some slack somewhere or other. Right. Absolutely. Well, let's also tell you, Vinjan, um, that um, all the business. Businesses that are affected by the pandemic, especially the businesses and individuals, and many people, unemployment benefits. Many of you might have uh, um, had your unemployment assistance also stopped because of the issues that uh, California's uh, EDD is having. Um, there's been a lot of issues with regard to payouts that are going out from there as well. Well, there it seems some good news on the horizon because Democrats in the U.S. Senate were poised on Thursday to take the first step towards the ultimate passage of President Joe Biden's 1.9 trillion dollar. COVID-19 relief proposal in a marathon votorama session aimed at uh, overriding the Republican opposition. <clears throat> Democrats needed to pass a budget resolution to unblock a legislative tool called reconciliation which would allow them to approve Biden's proposal in the narrowly divided chamber with a simple majority. The House of Reps approved the budget measure on Wednesday. Most legislation must get at least 60 votes in the 100-seat Senate to pass, but the chamber is divided 50, and um, Republicans oppose the Democratic president's uh, proposal. Reconciliation would allow the Senate's 48 Democrats and two independents to approve the relief package with a tie-breaking vote from Vice President Kamala Harris. <clears throat> so, you can get more information about this on MediaMahima.com. Um, Um, because um, the, why is this important to note? Because Senate Democrats and the Biden administration have now left the door open to Republican participation, but have said that they want comprehensive legislation to move quickly to address a pandemic that has killed more than 450,000 Americans. And as I mentioned before, about 523,000 Americans will die the, by the end of this month, mm. uh, and has left millions of people jobless. So it's important uh, not to just look at how many people are in the hospitals, how many people are dying, but also look at how many other things this pandemic has. Unleashed uh, in terms of people slipping below the poverty line, people ending up jobless, people putting on, you know, it, there's so many different things that are at play here. So it's important. Uh, what has been not been talked about is the mental health of our children who actually kept from socializing. Yeah, very, very important in their growth, right? Yeah, as yeah. a school actually plays a very vital role in our formation yeah. uh, of, as a society and as an individual. So yeah. there's going to be a huge impact, almost one year gap. We have been, what, 320, 24 days of sheltering in place already? So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, let's tell you about what's happening in Congress. Yesterday, we talked about how Liz Cheney was going to be chastised, right? Uh, but uh, because she voted for impeachment of Trump, right? Uh, well, she wasn't. She actually retained her uh, her position as uh, um, in the Republican Party. But let's talk about that lady, the Georgia Republican, uh, who uh, publicly touted dangerous anti-Semitic conspiracy theories. Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene. She's going to face a House floor vote today on whether she should be stripped of her committee. Green has been taken to task for her fringe rhetoric, but has retained support from House Republicans and has avoided punishment. Meanwhile, some GOP members have turned their attention to uh, Liz Cheney, pushing to challenge her leadership role. But of course, she prevailed um, in a GOP House vote yesterday. It's important not to draw a false equivalency between the two. Cheney, the daughter of a former Vice President, crossed. party lines in an impeachment vote green actually promotes q anon baseless conspiracy theories and has expressed support for assassinating democratic politicians so uh, they're two very different people banajan so uh, that's something that we definitely need to uh, identify and keep track of In the meanwhile, the U.S. Senate uh, Foreign Relations Committee on Thursday backed President Joe Biden's nomination of veteran diplomat Linda Thomas Green to be the U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations, steering her towards a confirmation by the full Senate. The committee voted 18 to 4 in favor of the nominee. <clears throat> um, also, Altibaba, there's been. Um, some uh, a Reuters exclusive I think we should take some time out tomorrow or you know next week to, to talk about this you know the the hundred and something odd Republicans who voted uh, saying that the election results were false mm -hmm. you know the Republican lawmakers mm -hmm. uh, well uh, they were all uh, into and in 
you know, uh, Reuters did an exclusive with them to see wh- where they stand today after the riots happened. So there is a very interesting uh, result that came out of it, but we'll share that with you and uh, we'll we share that with you. We need to make that public. We need to tell people wherever they get active from as to what they're doing. Yes, exactly. And and now those people, uh, what their stance is and where they stand, some of them still believe that nonsense uh, and some of them... Hey, don't call it nonsense. It is nonsense yeah, that the election was stolen. For them, in their, in their perspective, it is... Alternate reality. Yeah, in the alternate reality. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what happened to that lady, though? She quietly... You know, Who? Kelly and Conway. Oh, she uh, she's uh, she's off the. Uh, anyway, let's tell you that the United States Justice Department is not taking this lightly. They are considering whether to charge members of far-right groups involved in the deadly Jan 6 storming of the Capitol under federal law used against uh, organized crime, according to two law enforcement That's uh, true. sources. That's what so they should do, right? Is organized crime, anyways? Yes, exactly. It is, yeah. Um, the U.S. Uh, Treasury is saying that they need more time to decide whether to fight House Democrats in their effort to get former Donald Trump's per- business tax returns, according to the latest from uh, Bloomberg. And um, also, some there is a new report that's come up in the journal, and this is a little dangerous. Uh, U.S. congressional investigators have found dangerous levels of toxic heavy metals in certain baby foods that could cause neurological damage, a House Oversight Committee said in a report released on Thursday. The panel examined uh, baby foods made by Nurture Inc., Hain Celestial Group, Beech Nut Nutrition, and, get this, Gerber. If Nestle, it said, adding that it was greatly concerned that Walmart, Campbell's Soup, and Sprout Organic Foods refused to cooperate with the investigation. Uh, the report said that the internal company standards permit dangerously high level of toxic heavy uh, metals and documents reveal that manufacturers have often sold food at um, that exceeded those levels and it called on U.S. regulators to set maximum levels of toxic heavy metals permitted in baby foods and require manufacturers to test finished products for heavy metals, not just ingredients. Um, let's bring you really quickly before we leave. Um, do you want an update on the farmers' protests? Altavana? Sure, why not? Let's give us a farm on the Everybody so far actually are uh, busy commenting on social media. Yes. On a day when 15 MPs from different political parties tried to reach out to the protesting farmers at the Ghazipur border, the Samyukta Kimorcha, uh, umbrella body of the unions, opposed uh, to the central farm laws, on Thursday reiterated its stand of being political, uh, but said that the support of political parties to this movement was welcome. The support of political parties and us is welcome, but in no case, uh, the Samyukta Kisorcha will be allowed uh, for political leader, said Dashan Pal, farmer leader and one of the working group members of the Morcha. Uh, also, it has been the standard of the SKM from the beginning, ever since they gathered at the Delhi borders, um, farmer, farmer leaders on condition of anonymity shared that they cannot outrightly tell political leaders not to come to their protest sites, but what is actually needed to make um, the agitation a pan-India movement, is mm. what they're saying. Yeah. So it is politically motivated, but the good thing is um, the United States hailed peaceful protests and unhindered access to um, um, the infamy. At, well, they hailed this while they were hailing this as hallmarks for a thriving democracy. The government of India Thursday sought to between the incidents of the Republic Islands and the Capitol Hill January 6th insurrection, saying that the former had evoked similar sentiments in India. These incidents, uh, said the government in a statement, were just as per their respective local laws. So, more on all this, you'll find on MediaMahima.com. And I'm Kurt Banjan, keeping with the theme for today, that is the uh, Throwback Thursday, Banjan, a nice song which actually puts you back more. Thinking about those wonderful days of your times, you know, before COVID, huh, you could meet people, eat outside, <laughs> mingle. <sighs> Wo bhi, wo din bhi kya din thai, 324 days of sheltering in place. <laughs> Have we become wiser, but I don't know. Have we? I don't know. I don't know. Debatable. Well, we grow wiser every day if we le- choose to learn from what we're doing. Yeah. Right? And in from my people case, I think us. it's really not working. <laughs> hey, Bajan, this is a nice song for you guys from the movie Chichor, uh, Ajit, Ajit Singh's voice, Pritam's composition, and Amitabh uh, Bhattacharya's lyrics. Oh, 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 o